significant is the reopening of Snibston Colliery to Colville and how did it come about? It's incredibly significant to Colville. I mean, this is, this is a monument to the mining industry. The Leicestershire Coalfield and the South Derbyshire Coalfield were incredibly important from the 19th century right up to the, uh, the 1990s. And so this, this portrays that story of coal mining in, 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 in this area. When the museum was opened, the Snibston Discovery Park Museum, we launched the colliery tours in 1993 and from 93 right up to the closure of the museum the colliery tours were, were, were carried out for schools and for the public we decided that now the museum's gone that the colliery must be reopened to the public as a, an educational resource you can't go underground at snipston anymore the shafts have been capped but you can see how a coal mine in the 1960s 1970s and 1980s was operated when it was a super pit because this was one of the first pits to turn a million tonnes of coal a year. My background is I've had 25 years underground. I did mining science, mining technology, geology, hydraulics, pneumatics, ventilation design and blast design, all the things you need for working underground. This room is the control room and this is the main hub of the mine. Everything in this mine is controlled from this room. Uh, this, believe it or not, is a switchboard and I could ring Barry and tell him I wanted to contact my wife on this switchboard could switch me through to my wife and I could say put my dinner in the oven I'm going to be late. The pit is being reopened by the Snibston Heritage Trust in collaboration with Leicester County Council. We have a fantastic band of volunteers who have been instrumental in getting the site ready for the reopening on Sunday the 10th of April which is our a minor story event. The tickets have sold out for that day uh, they sold out incredibly quickly within two days, which really surprised everybody how much demand and interest there is in seeing the historic, you know, the mining history, the mining heritage. Uh, so what we've now, we've planned a series of, uh, of colliery tours starting on the 8th of May through to August. The tickets will be uh, published in the next few weeks and they'll be available through Eventbrite uh, and various other sources.